collapsed roof on a commercial building. It's like one million on the nose. Looks like he's asking for a card. You don't really know how to knock doors, do you? I don't, I've knocked doors before. Damn it, I'll get over there right now. I'm loaded the f up. Dude, what the f yeah, Now you get it. You didn't understand. The name of my YouTube today is Door to Door Sales. It's that time of the week, baby. Door to door blitz time. Leaving the Naples office. When do you go door to door? Go early and stay often. We've got a door to door sales orgy. Four sales organizations go into one neighborhood. Scott Emmons elite clients that are learning door to door. I've got some badasses in door to door for a whole different company. I've got a new sales manager, my door to door sales guys that need a boost, and we're all going to the hot spot of the storm. Well, let's go. Rule number one. Don't cross swords. No, you don't go back there and door knock the same door. We have to use the same app. We all use this, this tool, Roofing Redline. We basically drop pins on every door that we knock and disposition the door. And if we're all in the same app, then we won't cross swords. We won't knock the same door with the same pitch. Uh, <laughs> Knocking the same door, huh? Second, the hardest doors to open is the truck door. You don't go to a door-to-door -door sales orgy and keep your clothes on. No, you gotta get the fuck out of your truck and knock doors. It's just weird when you're watching everyone else knock doors and you're not knocking doors. Don't be a cuck roofer. Yeah, don't be a cuck roofer. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna be allowed to post this on the internet. My wife's gonna kill me. Are you with Brad? I need that address because I wanna meet up with the door-to-door -door blitz. And I also want to get this fucking looked at. I just got it. I'm texting it to you right now. Ooh, we just got us a fucking little Pokemon. A collapsed big ass roof. Holy shit. Building number seven. We gotta replace this whole fucking thing though, bro. This is a big ass motherfucker. Although, I don't think it's more than a thousand squares. The thing is, is that it's clay tile. I'm sure they're gonna go back with metal and they're gonna want to price for like a like a metal but this clay tile ain't cheap most of you when you get on a job like this you quit working for the week go back home and pencil it out i'm just gonna figure out how much this is see what the real repair versus replacement strategy is measure the roof and then move on to the door-to-door -door blitz well we gotta find out which building is leaking We've got a ceiling that's collapsed. I don't think it's the flat roof because the solar panels, looks like the flat roof is good. The tile, there's one more building over here, so I think it's a total of about 750 squares. But if it's the metal roof that's leaking too, that is a perfect one for a TPO retrofit system. Retail cash price, a fair number. It's like one million on the nose. Yeah. It's Second good. story building, no yeah. leaks in here, no, nothing really up here. No. All up in the second story is a flat roof and a tower roof. What kind of roof tile? Turns out we missed a few hundred squares. It's looking like it's gonna be about a thousand squares. Closer to 1.3 to 1.5 with interior damage and now some emergency mitigation. That's why you gotta have a restoration element to your roofing company. If you're gonna do insurance work, you can't just be a roofer. We're GCs, but we know how to handle mitigation. First step, stop the water from coming in. Second step, get the wet stuff out. Third step, dry that motherfucker. I ain't gonna be the first roofer to tell them to replace this roof. We gotta prove to them why replacing the roof is cheaper than going through another one of these incidents because this incident's gonna cost them money. Us just stopping the water from coming in, getting the wet stuff out, and drying out the units could easily be $100,000 in unexpected expense. How many of these do you wanna go through before you address this issue that you're gonna have to address anyways, considering that the price of the roof is only going up? Shit. The cheapest you'll get a roof is today. People think that I'm just a freaking roofing salesman, but dude, sometimes to be a roofing salesman, you gotta be Mr. Leak Buster. Shout out to my man, Richie Coletti, in the name of his company, Leak Busters, but uh, we found an area where another roofing company had been up there. Did a temporary repair. The repair sucks ass. They use like these discontinued tiles. These are Venezuelan tiles, so they can't find them anymore. But the truth is, is there's so much underlayment exposed, literally holes, cracked tiles, wind damage 
dude, there's gonna be leaks all over the place. And then this guy, his testimony about how the water's not even coming in directly where, uh, you know, the water's collapsed the ceiling. That's gonna make it pretty much failure of the underlayment that will create the sense of urgency to replace the whole roof. If you work with partnerships and contractors, your goal is to make them look like the hero. So we're gonna put together a written proposal. It doesn't matter if you're a property manager, general contractor, or another roofer. I can make you look like the hero. We can both make money on the job and everybody wins. Lee just hopped out of the truck and started talking to this guy. You got a tarp on this roof. Looks like he's asking for a card, but. Peter. Roof's okay, all, Peter. Roof's all marked up. Yeah, roof's all marked up. By the adjuster? His, his boss has got to give him the okay, but he just needs the business card. You don't really know how to knock doors, do you? I don't, I've knocked doors before. I mean, what do you mean you've knocked doors before? I mean, I have. How many times? my will. How many times? I don't know. Not enough. It's a good roof solar neighborhood. There's thousands of them right here, all in one spot. Hey, how you doing, man? My name's Lee I'm with our RCA. We just finished replacing your neighbor's roof. And um, oh. I just wanted to stop by and let you know there's a lot of people getting ripped off. Insurance companies have been sending out letters. Wait right there. But he shut the door and locked the door. Who does that? Mm. That was weird. Should I give him a second knock? I don't, I don't want to be in a viral video where I have to save Lee like right out of the rip. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> we can keep it moving. We'll just, listen, sometimes my instigation can, can kill a door-to-door -door day. This is a little bit different. I'm taking my hat off, changing it up. Got to use my bald, little bald hair. It goes a long way. Hey, bud, how you doing, man? Good, man. My name's Lee. I just we're, replaced... We're good. No, I'm, I'm not here. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm just making sure, like, this older roof, this yep. insurance... Everyone in the neighborhood... Sorry that you've seen get replaced have been replaced due to the storm? Yep. Hurricane, yep. you were in the process? Absolutely. Well, uh, our company- We're already on board with somebody, man. Oh, you got them replacing yep. the roof? Save you guys some time. Yep. All right, cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, man, we, we jumped on board early. And are they in the insurance process, like the legal process or what? No, we are, we got it all covered, man. Okay, thanks. Those part of the sale, thanks. Thanks. What's up, man? Good, buddy. Just stopping by to find out uh, why you haven't got the new roof yet. Everyone else has got the roof paid for by the insurance. This is an older one. Are you the homeowner here? Yeah, yeah. So you came after Hurricane Ian, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. What, what we want to do is we want to do a quick evaluation. We've had a lot of different wind dates since then too we can use for hidden damage, but I'm going to do a quick inspection for the roof. If you don't mind, we were just uh, in the neighborhood. I've got about 15 minutes before my next appointment. We do a quick inspection real quick. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, cool, man. I don't know for sure if we can get it because there's no guarantees. Yeah. It would be better if you owned it during Hurricane Ian. Does that sound good? Uh-huh. All right, good, because that'll save you 20000 You don't want to spend 20000 on a roof, <laughs> do you? You want to save 20000 Yeah. Okay, we'll take a look. All right. Insurance to retail, insurance to retail. Build rapport with insurance, close with retail. They did a little repair, huh? The ridge cap? Yeah. That's okay. Can we sit down? Yeah. Okay, good. But good news is that the first way we may be able to get the roof paid for is the insurance, but we have a secondary option as well. While we go through the process, we can move forward with the replacement. The insurance companies are making people replace these shingle roofs every 10 years. Metal roofs can withstand hurricanes. They add value to the home, they make the home look better, mm -hmm. and more importantly, they save you on 30% insurance. Mm -hmm. So even if we get the insurance to pay, hey, is this the forever place for you and your family? Mm -hmm. Okay, well just tell him like, we're gonna file a claim. You need to tell the actual, um, on September 3rd, okay, the guy who sold you the, pro the house, mm -hmm. you need to file an insurance claim for this. I was gonna help you file the claim today, okay? okay. But there's wind damage, okay, wind damage. And when you have a claim number, I want you to write it right here, okay? Is he currently working? Yeah, uh-huh. He is? Uh-huh. So he currently pays taxes? Yeah. As long as he pays taxes, your roof can get paid for. Okay, I'll show you how it works. I just need a copy of your bill. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You, okay, so we create 
truck. We file a claim. We come back with metal. Get a copy of the power bill. Now we got angles and opportunities. All right, there's one motherfucker. Today's your lucky day, brother. Holy Jesus. How you doing? What is this, a duplex? I'm here to fix your roof, man. Yeah. They told me, they said don't take no for an answer. Did I win? Home, home You're the boss, now? right? No, I gotta get out. Too curious. Well, what's holding you up, man? You don't have insurance? Well, that's okay. You got a good property, you got it paid for, don't you? Almost. Well, the, look, man, I mean, soffit, all this stuff's gotta be addressed, and you could take the equity out. But the insurance would pay to replace the roof. You didn't have insurance? Yeah, but... Uh, you think it's a scam, don't you? No, I had somebody do that one time. And they, All right, they came up. Um, they said, okay. They told me they'd help. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the insurance company came out here, assessed... You own both sides, right? Yeah. Okay. The whole thing. It looks like it, I could tell. Did you have the... When did you switch insurances? Yeah. Tell me when. Was it after in or before in? Uh, it was somewhere in, I don't know. Was, was it before in? Think about it. In's yeah, only it been a year. Was, it was before in. Hell yeah, you got a new storm date. No. Different insurance company. Yes, you do. If you change the insurance after in. I don't know when it changed exactly because I kept putting it off, putting it off. The mortgage company kept putting it off, putting it off. Finally, they said, no, you need insurance. What we would have done different, a lot of times the insurance makes a small offer in the beginning and you, you can't accept. You have to keep, you have to get it, you have to get it the whole roof paid for for replacement. And moving forward, like if you had insurance during Hurricane Inn, you had 70 mile an hour winds. We actually had September 3rd and 4th, high winds in here without a hurricane. That's, that's a lower deductible. But they uh, they come out and assess that they, they sent appraisers out or mm -hmm. whatever and, and did it. And because of the amount of trees and stuff I had over it, they didn't want to cover all of it. Mm -hmm. Because it, I was, not good health for many years now. Well, we've partnered with the state in a thing called PACE, and this program is actually something that will pay for the installation of a roof if you qualify. This is our secondary option. If you don't have insurance, if, you, if your insurance isn't gonna pay, I would put you in that program, and I would get you a new roof in the next 30 days. I would get paid for it, yeah. but you would get it for literally no money out of your pocket. I so, no, good, that's perfect. Pocket, I got no money. Good, what I wanna do is I just wanna take a quick look up there, all right, and if you have any type of documentation of your insurance, any kind of documentation of all, whoever that mortgage, whoever's charging you double and a half, you just give me that, and I'm gonna take a look at that. All right. It's great meeting you, bro. Have a good one, brother. What's up, fellas? Does anybody know how to get the PACE program approved? Yeah, I have a lot more. All right, go get him. He already signed for it. Deal with him. You, 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 can, you can deal with this guy. You can have a thirty thousand dollar deal. No, seriously, Chris. That come up here and meet him. Come up here and meet him. There's trees. Listen, These trees. People that work for me are growing. I'm kind of a big. Are growing from group. <laughs> wow. I, I thought I saw everything. Dude, what the fuck? This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. You got root systems going all the way to the floor. You got holes the size of basketball. You can play basketball with this roof. Pace the conditional loan, 30,000. He knows he's got to address it. He sees like if, he, if he's gonna move next door, even if he can't afford it, he's gonna end up getting literally hundreds of thousands of dollars more because he fixed his roof. So it took a little pull in the band-aid, it took a little back and forth, and we're about to get a $30,000 deal. And you would never want to judge a book by its cover, would you? <laughs> look, at, look, they cut the roof. You got down a proof there. of the loan, just so you know. 
Oh. And now he has, he's cool with taking the loan. Great news for someone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do this job? No. no. Not a chance in hell you work no, for I'm this going in. Uh, I'm going into uh, the pool business or something. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Juan about cleaning pools. Funny thing is, is that we were literally looking at a $1.3 million 1,200 square tile roof is the most beautiful roof of the day. This is low-key cooler than the million dollar job. I know, dude. Not low-key. This is one of the craziest Way things I've ever cool. seen. But I still am not going further in this thing because I might get attacked by an anaconda. Yeah. What's going on, fellas? Well, turns out we found a little slight hiccup. We've got a $2,200 um, subordinate mortgage, but he claims to not remember, although there's a signature. We're going to remind him that he did, in fact, take this out. Got all photos of me, guys. It was great. We we're going to add 2200 to the loan. And we're going to do some of that. Yeah, have good, good luck, fellas. He needs to agree with this guy <laughs> that he's aware, aware of it. I, had to, I pulled it up so that he could at least see it. So listen, tell him that you understand that now, that now you get it, that you didn't understand. Tell him that you get it. So we're working. It's a team. He just got approved. No conditional statements, believe it or not. He only owns, he only owes $17,000 on this house. And this house is worth three fifty dollars to 400000 But, you know, if someone can't fix their roof, they may only get an offer of 150000 bucks for this. Well, by fixing his roof, by getting approved for this white green loan, He's now gonna be worth way more money. Water's gonna stop coming into his home. He didn't wanna take a loan. He didn't have the money. We showed him how much more that was gonna make his home worth. And so he went ahead and moved forward with the loan, got approved, and this contract that we signed that wasn't worth as much without approval is now approved. So that's how you sell, and don't judge a book by its cover. You see that contract? Uh, Chris has got that. Yeah, the, the signed I contract right there? Uh, yeah. Maybe I do. Nice, do that. Bang. Get you a bonus roof? Yeah, I got a bonus roof, dude. I had to, dude. A fucking dude. That happened so fast. I know, dude. I was in and out of there in like fucking eight minutes. I got my backup filing a claim. I knew he was a partier, dude. He had fucking fiesta lights. Tried to start talking Spanish to us and everything. So what, I didn't even have time to grab my fucking camera. Fucking didn't have time to what, grab the what camera. Was your, what was your... first of all? I saw the guy in a golf cart. He's just chilling, man. I know a guy in a golf cart is probably drinking beer, having a good time in the afternoon. I said, hey, bro, did you miss out on the party? Way? He's like, party? What party did I miss out on? The roof, man. Did you get, how old is your roof? He's at 12. I said, 12 years you missed out on the party, man. Where's your house? What's your address? He said, right there. I said, okay, you're going to get a new roof today. Sure enough. He had the damage, he had a good insurance, heritage insurance, we signed a contract. Less than 10 minutes. Yanni was like, uh, I've gotta get a deal locked in with y'all so that we can you know, move forward with our agreement. And I'm like, okay, let me help you with that. Right. Bada bing, bada boom, plugged in, rocking and rolling. That was the first sub 10 minute deal I've ever seen. That's the first sub 10 minute deal? That's called the quick close, that's the art, of, that's like Dave Chappelle, have you ever seen him? I'm a speed fucker, this mouth! Is this him right here? Where? This contract. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was it, how'd it go? Uh, what did I, I don't, you, what I did know you what just happened. witness? You were yeah. here. You were here to learn door knocking. That was so fast. We, we. I, I don't know. I didn't know if we were abducting a guy on a golf cart or what we were doing. The next thing I know, we had a contract and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bonus content. Bonus content. 